Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo contradicts an earlier statement he made about President Rodrigo Duterte's supposed scheduled phone call with United States President Donald Trump. At a press briefing Thursday, February 13, Panelo says Duterte no longer wanted to speak to Trump. There was no schedule. There were, what do you call it? Uh, there were talks, there were initiatives that the two should talk. But oh no, over and over again, because I asked the president, and he said, "No, I won't anymore." Last Friday, February 7, Panelo told reporters, quote, President Duterte is also scheduled to talk by phone with President Trump anytime. Between Friday and Thursday, the Duterte government terminated the 21-year-old visiting forces agreement with the U.S. Meanwhile, Trump dismisses concerns on the VFA termination. I really don't mind if they would like to do that. That's fine. We'll save a lot of money. This was the opposite of Duterte's claim Monday, February 10, when he said Trump, along with other top officials, was trying to prevent the abrogation of the VFA. Defense Secretary Delphine Finn Lorenzana also makes a public statement on the issue, saying Philippine and American forces will cease to have joint exercises and activities after the repeal takes effect in six months. This will affect the annual Balikatan exercises set for May this year. Philippine National Police Chief General Archie Gamboa says he feels insulted after Rappler came out with reports that President Duterte's drug list includes drug war poster boy Lieutenant Colonel Jovi Espinido. When Rappler reporter Rambo Talabong asks a question at the end of a chance interview Thursday, February 13, Gamboa refuses to answer and walks away. Ang sinabi ko naman sa inyo, respect our, respect our, uh, it was, nakiusap naman ako, di ba? Nakiusap ako. Na wag na sana nating tingnan yung mga personalities. And then here comes the issue of Rambo. Uh, I feel insulted with that. Nagpromise na ako na hindi na ako sasagot kay Rambo. Thank you. Good morning. President Rodrigo Duterte urges Filipinos to trust in government efforts to quell the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. In a taped message aired Thursday, February 13, Duterte calls on Filipinos to remain calm. To my fellow Filipinos, I understand that many of you are worried about the world health and the well-being of our loved ones. It is normal to feel anxious, concerned, and even afraid. I call on our people to remain calm, vigilant, responsible, and I also ask your trust and cooperation. Support as we face the challenge. Tayo ay mag-isa together as one nation. Cha this challenge can be overcome. Duterte was criticized for his initial response to the virus, with online commenters saying he was slow to act. Duterte told Filipinos everything is well in the Philippines. He also said public hysteria over the coronavirus was unwarranted and the virus would die a natural death. You know, this cor coronavirus carrying people all over the country. The response of the people from the initial reports of coronavirus was almost hysterical when there was really no need for it, actually. Fears over the virus continue to hit the tourism industry as Sagada decides to suspend all ecotourism activities. In Japan, cases in the quarantine cruise ship docked in Yokohama rise to 218. The death toll is now at 1,355, with 242 new deaths in one day. As the figures soar in China, neighboring Vietnam places 10,000 people under quarantine after six COVID-19 cases are discovered in a cluster of villages. A passenger jeepney runs over high school students crossing a pedestrian lane Wednesday night in Makati. A 14-year-old student dies and seven of his schoolmates are injured. Police say the students were walking along J.P. Rizal Avenue on their way home when a jeepney suddenly accelerated and hit the pedestrians. Jeepney driver Crisalde Tamparong tells police he lost control of his brakes. Police say the driver will undergo a drug test. Makati Mayor Abi Binay says she is deeply shocked and saddened and vows that justice will be served. 
Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner and her husband Joe Jonas are expecting their first child. U.S. entertainment sites E! News, Just Jared, and Us Weekly say the couple is keeping things very hush-hush and their family and friends are excited for the couple. The 23-year-old actress and the 30-year-old Jonas brother wed in May 2019 in Las Vegas. They had a bigger wedding in June in France. The couple got engaged in October 2017, a year after dating.